put this in park. I'm so sorry. That is the real deal. best tornado I've ever seen. Like, hands down, the best. sure I'm not just looking at it through the camera. It's like it got a shit. Think about dropping south so we aren't in its way. I think it's gonna scoot just just north of us looking at the radar, but I don't wanna don't wanna be wrong on that. can pull forwards if you need. Let me, let me pull. No. Okay.
this don't really last this long, do they? No. This is significant. Oh, it's hitting something. I think I want to back up um, for one thing to give it some space for another thing so the trees are. couple things out here since this clip doesn't have any audio attached. Uh, first off, you can really get a sense of the size and width of the tornado from this wider angle cell phone shot, looking up into the face of the storm and how tall the thing extends up, but also at ground level, you see how it's almost starting to take on some wedge-like features here being wider than it is tall. Notice how the entire area of rotation, the tornado and its mesocyclone are almost pinched off or occluded, as it's called, from the parent thunderstorm and are spinning in almost perfectly dry, clear air with no rain or any type of precipitation wrapping around. They also have a feature here that looks a little bit like a second tornado, possibly off to the left of the main tornado. We've had some trouble discerning if that's a funnel cloud with ground rotation or just a scud feature, but it seems as if there could possibly have been two tornadoes in progress at once here, and at the time, we just weren't aware of that due to everything else going on. After the tornado had departed to the northeast, we drove less than a mile north up the road to 
S and C Cornelius farms, which appeared to have either taken a direct hit or else been very narrowly missed by this tornado. I spoke with the homeowner and got her permission to take pictures of the property. And as you can see here, the house is completely unscathed. From what we could tell, there wasn't even a shingle missing from the roof. But looking just less than 100 feet to the north at their tree line, this tree line was very heavily damaged with numerous large trees being snapped off, stripped of branches and so forth. Now, looking here at the screenshot of the tornado crossing the road, you can see how narrowly it's missing the silos and grain bins that are part of the Cornelius Farms um, operation. But what you can't see is over the hill beyond that, their farmhouse, their place of residence, uh, was being even more narrowly missed by that tornado that, again, uh, the, the violent rotation passed just less than 100 feet north of their house and thankfully spared their house. The family at the time was in the basement, uh, but a lot of those large trees took a direct hit. Uh, so that was a really, really close call for that family, and we and they both are very thankful for their safety and for their house being spared. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you found this interesting. Stay safe.